In this example, I'm going to show you how you can edit vocals inside Sonar. This is right after a vocal session, and we're going to go through the lead vocal on the chorus of this particular song and decide which takes we want. And what's nice about this is just the speed and the ease of how we're going to approach this task. So let's, to get into the groove, let's just listen to a um, few bars out of the chorus and uh, see what we're at here, see where we're at. Okay, so that we have, uh, basically we have one track here, um, but we have multiple layers. You can have as many layers as you want in Sonar on a particular track. So it makes it a lot, lot easier when, you, when you're actually recording. You don't have to always create new tracks. And then at some point, you know, you can easily go through each track and decide what takes you want. So, um, I don't know, this is some vocals that I cut on this song. Um, and let's just, let's just go phrase by phrase and decide which one we want. So um, let me explain a little bit more on the layers here. You can see we've got the ability to mute and solo within each layer. Okay, so right now we're listening to um, this first layer. And uh, so we'll listen to each phrase and then decide which one we want and move on from there. So let's, okay, let me, while it's fresh in my head, let me listen to this, uh, this take. Now we're on take two here. Okay, I, I should point out that we're totally dry. I, I personally like to edit vocals just real naked and dry. Um, so let's, let's uh, go ahead and listen to track number three. And I'm just going to crank the vocal up so we can really hear things. Uh, Hear the inflections and to see what we need to do. So I think I like that one the best, uh, the third layer. So what I'm going to do is, is I hit the my um, K key and I bring in my mute tool. And what's cool is, uh, let's say if I just wanted to mute a particular track, I can actually, I'm doing that wrong. You got to be below the zero point there and uh, you know, if you just want to mute something you can bring it back. But what's really cool in, in this example that I'm showing you is the ability you just hold control and if this is the one I want boom it mutes the other one. Because you know you never know you might want to go back there and get back to them real quick. Um, you might be doing some changes. I mean, this is good after a, a night of recording. You want to make a quick, um, you know, rough mix or whatever. So you can do this really fast when you're on a roll. I'm just, I want to make sure that all you guys really see how you do it with this program. So let's move on to the, the, second, uh, the second phrase. Let's go back and listen to, um, you know, the second phrase here on, on this. Stranded, no one else. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I try to remember what it sounded like. Now we'll listen to the second one. Stranded, no one else. That one's kind of lame. Let's see if this one's any better. Hopefully there's something there that's decent. Stranded, with no one else. I think I like that one. So we go ahead and uh, again hold control and um, we can do the same routine here and listen to this. Stranded. That one isn't all that tight. Let's listen to this one. Stranded. It's not bad. Let's see if this one's any better. Stranded. That one has a little more uh, gonads to it, so let's go. We're going to use that one. Oops. Let me undo that and. 
be very careful. Okay, now we keep moving along here. We're, we're listening to layer one still. Uh, where's my scroll bar? And uh, let's go. All alone without you. I don't know about that one. Let's listen to this one. All alone without you. It's getting worse. Let's see if this one's any good. Well, we'll have to settle with this, this one up here. Um, and then we keep moving along. I'm stranded out by myself. I think I distorted the mic on that one. Let's see if we, this one's any better. You can see where it kind of got clipped a little bit there. I'm stranded out by myself. That one has a little bit of attitude. Let's listen to this one. I'm I think I like that one. So you get the idea what we're doing here. We're just going through there, getting the uh, the vocals right. I think I'll just decide. I, this track three is overall pretty good. Um, let's. Let me um, grab this one, or let's listen to take two. Stranded, all alone without you. Didn't quite nail that one. Although I, 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 like, I like that stranded, so let's, let's use that. Again, I'm not making any hardcore commitment here. I can, I can go back and I like to live with the mix for a while and something continues continually bothers you, you can always get back to the source material and make a change. You. I kind of like that one, so... So now we'll, uh, we'll listen to that, what we just did. Let me bring her back a few measures. Well, you're not going to hear anything. And, Let's see, unmute things. So let's try it again. I'm stranded out by myself. Stranded with no one else. I'm stranded all alone without you. I'm stranded. So it's not bad. Now let's put the, uh, the new vintage uh, channel on this particular vocal track. Uh, this is a brand new plugin that comes with Sonar Producer. And uh, I'm gonna choose the fat vocal preset. And let's see if we can settle this back in the mix a little bit better. So that's sitting pretty good in the mix. Now we can add, um, you know, turn the reverb back on and we're basically done with that. But um, before we, we move on, let's go ahead and uh, let's go back to where we were. And let's say you just want to make it one composite vocal now. Simply, well, let's turn off the mute tool. Oh, by the way, if you... Uh, if you turn off the mute tool, remember that we went, we hit K to get to the mute tool. If you have your regular selector, which is uh, you access it by hitting T, um, you click on a track and you hit Q and that will mute something. You see the red um, icon there. So that's if you want to mute a whole clip. But uh, bouncing the whole thing down now. So there we have my final vocal take. Let's listen. We already heard that first part. So you hear how it sounds coming out of there. I'm stranded out by myself. Stranded no one else. Stranded all alone without you. 
Okay, so there you have it, editing vocals inside Sonar using the take management features.